touching me or I'm gonna report violence. Let me tell you something, folks. You can't fix stupid. Basically, our Karen here uh, went the wrong way on a one-way street, was given multiple opportunities to just back up and turn around and go back the other way, which she could have easily done, as you'll see in the video. But she didn't realize that she is intoxicated. She is arrested, taken to jail. In between the handcuffs and everything, she stomps on a loose his foot, which is a battery. She is swearing and cussing. She, she has to about her handcuffs briefly, and then they get her back in the handcuffs again. Basically, she does everything possible to make the situation worse. All right, here we go. A routine traffic regulation in Palm Beach took an unexpected turn on a sunny afternoon. A woman, driving against the designated flow of a one-way street, unwittingly became the subject of a law enforcement intervention that escalated rapidly. Ma'am, if you don't move your car when a police car gets here, we're going to remove you from your vehicle and take you to Palm Beach County Jail. It was happening in a shopping area where officers noticed a car moving in the wrong direction, creating a potential hazard for other vehicles and pedestrians. Law enforcement approached with the intent to guide the driver safely out of the predicament, emphasizing the need to correct her course to avert an accident. Mm -hmm. You should have to realize by now. It doesn't work out too well for her. Ma'am, you, you're going the wrong way. You cannot go this way. Ma'am, ma'am, you can't go this way. No, you're not. You you're going to get, go, you're going to make... You're going to park over there. No, you're not. you have to back up. I'm telling you, you are not. No, you are not. You are going to reverse and go the right way. You're driving the wrong way on the wrong side of the road. All the what people? Ma'am, your, your nose, your nose on with somebody right now. Please turn around and go this way. Ma'am, there are children on the roadway. Please make a U-turn and go this way. Please. No, you're in drive. Please turn around. Please reverse. Thank you. Appreciate you. Please reverse and go this way. Please. Thank you, ma'am. Please go that way. Please get me a car in front of restoration. How stupid are you? The car in front of her going the right way. There's nobody behind her for obvious reasons. There's no reason why she can't turn around. To probably tell the guy to wait there for a second, have her turn around and go back the other way. It's literally like 10 seconds and it's handled. And yet, of course, she doesn't want to listen. We have a vehicle that's going the wrong way, refusing to turn around. Despite repeated instructions, the driver was unable to comply, appearing disoriented and unable to grasp the gravity of the situation. Ma'am, if you don't move your car when a police car gets here, we're going to remove you from your vehicle and take you to Palm Beach County Jail. No, you can't. No, you cannot. You either go that way. This resistance heightened tensions as officers sought to resolve the matter with urgency, mindful of the safety of everyone in the vicinity. The woman's failure to heed these warnings ultimately necessitated police action, culminating in her being taken into custody. Yeah, this is not rocket science. This is anyone to be able to figure this out in a heartbeat. You mean like a first, a new driver on, on his train permit should be able to do this easily. I mean, it's not that hard. Step out of the car, please. Step out of the car, please. Step out of the car. 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 Okay. Stand right over here. Just stand right over here. You're arresting me for what? The police, tasked with managing the protest and ensuring public safety, were on high alert. You're wasting your time. You're putting me in handcuffs for what? Like I need to go home to my. You were given plenty of opportunities I, to no, comply. Okay, well then I'll comply. I need to. The go officer home. gave you at least ten. No, then the officer. I came and said okay. for you to go 
Okay. Because if you didn't, you well, were going to go wanna, to jail I when a car got okay, here. Well, and the I, car got here. Well, I want to go. It's too late now. No, I'm not going in the car. That's literally a five-year-old. I mean, of course, as soon as the handcuffs come out, like everybody else, all of a sudden they're very cooperative. They say, yeah, I was going to do it. I was doing it. I was doing it. And she wasn't doing it. I mean, it's not that hard to figure out. Well, no, uh, unfortunately, at some point, we no. Will. Listen to me. What the f are you talking about? Look at the f other people over here, and no. I'm in the handcuffs. But they're, you're looking at the, you're the one that's are taking you them. Are me right now? Are you? Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna. You're really not helping yourself very I much. I know. I know. You understand okay. that? Yes. No, I'm. I, I. Please, please, just take me home. I don't, Unfortunately, I don't, everything no, is listen, on camera. No, everything you're saying a, has been. I don't give a. F you're then, yelling in my face okay, like you smell not, the alcohol. Okay, just take me, go, home. You are. take me home. Please. Did you hear that? Nah, it's please. Please, I can't get in trouble. Please, 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 please. please. The woman, caught in the midst of this, felt overwhelmed and claimed she was mishandled during her interaction with law enforcement. I have nothing on me. Like, please let me f go. You want me to move it? Jesus Christ. Well, hold on. Okay. Why did you, why did you turn this way? Can you get me out of this He's not going to, ma'am. Just answer the question. Why did okay. you turn this way? Because I saw these people. I'm from... The country, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it, okay? I shouldn't have done it, and I just want to f oh, Right now, I want to get out of these. I'm not going to Okay. Jesus Christ, get me out of these right now, please. Right now, please. All right. Seriously, now. Now. Please, get them off. However, no physical altercations were recorded. It was her perception, fueled by the stressful environment. She's screaming, she's screaming in my face and I can smell it. Things that I just told you. No. Okay. Well, because you understand, I'm not going to ask, ask you any other questions that will incriminate you. However, what I'm going to do, based on my observations of you, the observations of the officer that can stopped I do you. My, okay. Can I do my test? Well, they're not tests; they're tasks. Okay. No. But what I'm, it's a test, okay. like right here. Okay. If I didn't have this. Okay. Can you I listen to me? Do, I can't do anything with my. Okay. I'm sorry. I can't do anything with my hands behind my back. He's speaking to you. Can you oh. listen to him? He's been nothing but respectful. Just listen. Shut your bitch ass up! <laughs> it was then revealed that she might be under the influence, a serious allegation that added another layer of complexity to her already dire situation. Feeling wronged and desperate to return home to her responsibilities, including a dog that needed her care. The woman's frustration grew. I am. I don't know if it's an AI voice or someone's actual voice, but I like this voice that's narrating. It's, it's, it's a pretty calm, relaxing voice, actually. I'm going to offer you the opportunity to perform the field sobriety test, okay? Which does require the handcuffs to come off, all right? I have to give you the same thing I give everyone that I tell that has handcuffs on them. You are humiliating me I'm not, right now in front I'm not of doing, my job. Like, I I'm need not, you to I'm not stop. Doing, I'm no. not doing anything, okay? Now, no, this is really, I really have to bad. Ask you. This is really bad. This is really, 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 really bad. Okay, I was trying to go home. I was just trying to go home. I'm trying to go home. That's to go all home. I want to go. The sign right there that says no left turn. That you were trying to go home. I live in Palm Beach Garden. I'm trying to go home. So then why would you be turning left here if you're trying to go home? Well, I would point in the right direction. But my the right is direction that is that way to 95. Sir? 
I'll try to infiltrate her arguments of logic. It doesn't work. I mean, you can't argue logically with an idiot. I'm letting you know. This goes into the hill. Okay, it's funny. I know. I live, okay, I would point, but I can't. Okay, I need to go home to Palm Beach Gardens. It's that way. It's right. It's right. So then why did you turn left? Because I need to get out of this town and go that way. That, I'm trying to go home. That's a moot point. I'm not doing anything. I just want to go home. Right. Are you I just to want to go home. home. Are you willing to right field some body exercises? She expressed a mixture of emotional and physical complaints, claiming mistreatment and misunderstanding by the officers. Her interactions with law enforcement were marked by her admissions of making a wrong decision. On a day gone awry. I'm not going to sit here and be humiliated that's in front why of you. That's why we we're just... going to go that way or I'm not right, doing any of this. Okay. I am offering you to take I am humiliated I am right offering now. you. Get me out of the street. I am offering My you. mother is going to... You, oh, you are killing me right now in we the middle of the street. To Get me out of here. Okay. We just People said... are going to fucking see okay. me. We just said we were gonna no, it's okay. not funny. Get off my arm. Stop okay. touching me or I'm going to Violence. Okay. Get off me. Get off me. Yeah. Sexual harassment. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I didn't take that. Please. I've got to go. Come to my house. Get this off of me. What was your name? Sarah. Sarah. Please get this in the book. making a scene right now. So listen. Get this off me. We will quietly relocate you somewhere to where we why am I sitting in the goddamn middle of the road? He's doing something. No, you better f tell him because. Sarah, right? Ow! Sarah, stop. You're in his face. Sarah, stop your foot? Stop. Yeah, she did. Sarah, can you stop? I will stop your foot? Okay, see, we're not doing that, the field sobrieties. You're, right now, you're under arrest for DUI. You done messed up! No, I'm not. And you're under arrest for battery on a law enforcement officer. No. I'll call this land for lawyer mistakes in a bit. Yes, you are. You just stopped his foot. That's battery. Put her in the back of that car. No! Are you fucking kidding me? You just stepped on my toe. You just tried to be really reasonable. You just told him. Oh my Jesus. I'm going to finish it. She's out of the car. 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 Stop. We're working against her. I'm good. I'm good. Stop. Wait, 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 wait. I'm good. If you find this video interesting, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cases like this. As she sat detained, her mind raced through the day's events. She regretted her decision to stop, her inadvertent involvement in the protest, and her interaction with the police. The reason I'm here is to investigate what happened. Okay, well, let's get in for a minute with the bus. Okay, you. That's fine. You. What, what happened? Here's body cam. Here's footage. Well, I'm gonna review his footage afterwards, but I wanna hear it from your, from your words what happened. So I have your description so I can hear your side of it and not just take their side. I wanna hear your side of what. Okay? So what happened? So, well, I'm just letting you know. Okay. Like, do I look like a f present person? Like, I'm not. I'm not. He put my arms back here. Okay. I'm gonna take care. By the way, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you need to lose your license. Each decision, each moment, seemed to conspire against her, culminating in a situation she felt was both unjust and overwhelming. Okay. See, I told you, man, there is a conspiracy out there. See? Yeah, right. I know. Conspiracy. So when. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, and then he doesn't even want to say he's sorry.
then I'm going to take his license from him. So Ms. Swanson, I'm going to take some photos of you so I can document your appearance. Why am I in jail right now? I want okay, to go my, home. My, under, my understanding right now, because I was not on scene, okay? You're me my, home. my understanding Why is, is that you're being charged with for driving under the influence. Are you talking? Yeah. I pulled my car over. I wasn't even driving. Well, you had, your car had to get there somehow. It didn't magically appear there. You were driving it, correct, to get there? And then what were you going to say again? And then... Battery on it. Allegedly, <laughs> you, you stomped on an officer's foot. <laughs> so I'm trying, that's okay. I'm trying to get your set of the story okay. so I can document. That was okay. his foot. Okay. And yeah, when he did this, I did stomp on it. Okay. So if you don't let me go right now, I'm going to bring it down. A hundred percent. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get yeah. that. I want to get yeah. home right now. Okay, well, unfortunately, yeah, I'm not staying here. Let me see your wrist. I see you got some red marks there. Okay, turn your arms open. Can you just take me home? That unfortunately, I cannot do it. I'm not injuries? staying in the cell. I I have a dog at home. I need to go to my to my dog. Oh, poor baby. Well, I understand that. Well, no. Can, but, can are you? there any other injuries that you have that I can, that I can back them? Mental. Yeah. Okay. The woman's claims of needing medical attention for what she described as mental injuries were met with a promise to connect her with the appropriate resources, though immediate medical intervention was not available on the spot. I need to speak with a doctor right now. Okay, no. No, but medical attention. No, right now I need to speak to a doctor. Is there anything about the incident that she needs? Yes. To Are you want me to finish my question? Is there anything that you haven't told me that I need to know about the incident that transpired between you and the officer? Yes. What is that? Yeah. He hurt me. Your officer needs to be fired. I, I need to speak to, uh, if my mom hears that I was here and I didn't get to speak to a doctor, y'all are going down. I need to speak to a doctor right now. All right. See all the threats she's been making? It's good thing they're not taking her seriously. Because when he comes like, oh, I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to do that to you. This is going to happen to you. I'm going to have to do this, this, and this to you. Uh, every time she does that, they could have charged her with threatening a police officer, perhaps. So, good thing you're not taking her seriously. No, like, no, I don't have a doctor in my pocket. I don't care that I, I need. I can't make a doctor. Okay, well, I need one right now. I never see you. We'll be back with you momentarily. As the night drew to a close, the woman remained in detention, her future uncertain and her pleas for understanding lingering in the air, a testament to the profound impact of a moment's decision. Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Right now, I'm going to read you something, okay? I'm going to get you to understand. At this point, right now, I'm requesting you submit to a lawful test of your breath for the purpose of determining its alcohol content. Will you take the test? Yes or no? I don't see why I should not do. You've been... Is your answer yes or no? No, my answer is you've been... No, my answer is no. Your answer is no. Okay. Yeah, if you refuse... You've been detaining Sarah, me. Let me okay, finish. my dad is dead and he always told me... Okay. Yeah, okay. So, it's a so okay. you're saying no to the blood breath test. Why would I do a breath test when okay. I've been in here? Okay. If you, Sarah, <laughs> if you refuse to take, Sarah, sit down. If you refuse to take the test that I have requested of you, your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for your first refusal, or 18 months if your driving privilege Why? has been previously suspended, or if you've been previously fined under Florida State Statute 327. That makes sense. Everybody got that? No sense. Three. I want to keep you drunk. Up the street, that's why. 5215 for refusing to submit to a lawful test that's of your breath. Refusal to comply with this test has serious consequences under local law, including the automatic suspension of driving privileges and potential misdemeanor charges. If you refuse to take the test I have requested of you and your driving privilege has been previously suspended or if you've been it's previously been. fined under statute 27.35. I've never even gotten a ticket. For refusal to submit to a lawful no, test, of your that's breath, not true. You will be committing a misdemeanor in addition no, to other penalties, which can be imposed by that law. That is not true. Refusal to submit to the test I've requested is admissible into an evidence call in any mom. criminal proceeding. Call my mother right now. Do you still refuse to submit to this test? Please call my mom. I need a yes or a no. No, for you. I need okay. you to no. call my mom. Refu I want my mommy. Refusal time is 6:43 on the. Please, can you call her? Close it. 
As the night progressed, the woman was informed that she would be transferred to the county jail. A direct consequence of her actions, including the initial traffic violation and her subsequent refusal to comply with the breathalyzer test. Added to this were charges of resisting arrest and battery on a law enforcement officer, the latter stemming from an alleged physical altercation during the initial stop. All right, Sarah, we're ready. We're leaving. He's taking you. Where else are you going? To, you're going to county jail. We've explained this already countless times. Can you stand up and turn around? Um, I will, but I would like first for you to let me know what I'm being charged with. Uh, battery on a law enforcement officer. You stepped on my foot. Okay. I'm I telling you. Stepped on your foot. Yes, it's on camera. We're not debating about this. You asked. I'm telling you. Resisting arrest and DUI. I have never. Okay. You look like a newbie. It's okay. It's okay. Yep. Okay. I, I know what but, I've seen and no, I know what happened. So. I stepped on your All foot. All right. Stand up. I, you I asked. Have you got your answers. My life. Let's go. Stand up. The officers, maintaining professionalism but firm in their duty, prepared her for transfer. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put them on you. Make your choice, please. Please, ma'am. 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 Please, yeah, you're okay. laughing at this? Yeah, yeah, oh, you have I'm not looking at you. Yet? No, no, I want you to put your hands on your back for me, please. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I've never done this before. Get the f*** out of my face. You f***. I stepped on your toe. It's on footage. It's on footage. You asked, I told you. Dude, you are ruining my life. I didn't do anything. Oh, no. You you made your choices. That's Uh -uh. it. The situation at the police station was tense, with the woman visibly distressed and uncooperative. Ow. Okay. No. 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 Stop. Stop. You do nothing. I'm done. Calm the f down. Take it a little bit. Like, do I look like I'm bad? Get the f Can you? Wait, what do you want? What do you, you want? want? Loose? I'm loosening it for you. What are you yelling for? I need the loose. I'm trying. Get the f- out of my no, face. No, I'm present no, with him. No. Because you're going to start saying we're doing things we're not doing. I'm here with him. He's going right. to fix no. it. It's loose, you right? Get the f- out of no. my face. Ma'am, is it loose? Can you stop good? moving so we can, can fix it? Can you do this one? All right, give me Am a second. Am I really going to get out of them? No. You already did on single pair earlier, so. Oh, shut the f- up. This one over I'm here. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Don't move so we can take him down. Yeah. Shut up. As she was escorted out of the station and towards the waiting police vehicle, the seriousness of her predicament was palpable. The night had started with a simple drive home and had spiraled into a series of decisions that profoundly affected her immediate future. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure. All right. That's how they want to be, man. They're not meant for comfort. Is All this right? what you wanted? Can Let's we just step out? Like... Can we please step out? Come on. Alright. Like, uh, so, well, I'm going to do it. I'm just trying to make you laugh. I mean, okay. you're kinda hot. He's way hotter than you, by the way. Okay. You have a lot that's, of work to do. Right. Well, yeah, you have I'm a young, lot of work. So I got a lot of time. Yeah, you're yeah. young and you fing suck. Thank, Thank you. you. Got, that, that'll help me. Put the seeds out on you, okay? I'm gonna reach across you, okay? Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. By the end of the evening, she was transported to the county jail, where she would await further processing. As we wrap up today's video, we've witnessed how a simple traffic stop can escalate into a much more serious situation. From initial misunderstandings to legal repercussions, this case highlights the complex interplay between citizens and law enforcement in stressful situations. So, yeah, she's a big, spoiled child, simple as that. Uh, nothing more to say is pretty straightforward. She's intoxicated and she and people who are drunk do stupid things. And well, I get a feeling she's not gonna win her court case. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna close out some interesting news. Apparently Eric Brandt has been found has been indicted actually, I should say, and been indicted by a grand jury in Louisiana for making criminal threats over state lines. So I guess when he was calling in those threats into Colorado about that judge. He did at least one or two in Louisiana, which is a federal crime. 
And now he's facing those charges when he gets out. And whether he'll get actually go to court for this or not, I have no idea. But looking at it, roughly around five years, between $250,000 to $500,000 fine. Uh, so yeah, even though he's already in prison for another what, seven or eight years, uh, he's still got five more years possibly when he gets out. The extra side of it depends on how serious it is. It was like this one time. They may just not do anything. They say, don't come back to the state. But he made a lot of calls from Louisiana to, to Colorado about these threats. Then they could extradite him over here and convict him over there. So, nice going, Eric. You are a bigger dummy, as we all know. All right, you all take care, and I will see you when I see you.